Hold up. So you guys might be wondering why I'm jumping around like a little wild animal. And that's because I have joined a modded lobby. I just started playing some TDM and this is what I found. So hell, I'm gonna stay. So yesterday I was playing MW3, uh, not Domination Drop Zone. And now today I'm playing some COD Fort Free For All. Now I really wanna switch up my, like the game pattern of what I'm playing because I just think it's a lot funner and joy to watch if I switch like the game up every single day. And that's why I think a Jev got a lot of love is because he switches up the game almost every single time he plays. And that's a really, really what I want to achieve during this SBRC. And I want you guys' opinion on something. Would you guys want me to do a face cam? No, I don't do face cams because I think if I do a face cam, it will bite me in the ass in the future. And what I mean by that is that people from my school will find me, they'll think, and they'll know about my YouTube channel, and it's just going to be pretty shitty overall. Now, only, I would say about 10 people, like, like people who are really close to me know about my YouTube channel. I do not go around telling people about my YouTube channel because I think that's just stupid. Well, not stupid, but I'm not going to get that just for people to get views. So I like having my YouTube channel really secretive and to my friends because I really don't want a lot of people to know about it because it's going to bite me in the ass one day. But that's just my opinion. Maybe you guys want everyone to know about your YouTube channel, but personally for me, that's not really how I want to be like. I want it to be more secretive until I get bigger, then maybe I'll start telling people about it to just like know what I do. But obviously, I am not a big enough like not a big channel whatsoever, so just for now, I'm going to keep it to myself. And that's what I really want to accomplish during this SBRC. But moving on from that topic, I had the SBRC video. I looked in the comment section to see who was going for it. Oh, quad feed, quad feed. No. Anyway, so in the SB content RC, I looked in the comment section to see who was going for it, and I stumbled across a few people who I thought had like a really good ideas, and I'm like, wow, these guys are probably going to do good even better than me. But anyway, I looked at their channels just the other day, and they didn't even upload ever since like what they were doing. I uploaded four times in the past four days. I even thought about double uploading today, but I was going to figure I might save the video. Like with me, I stay true to my viewers. I don't go and say, I'm going to upload this, I'm going to upload daily. I'm not going to do that if I know I'm not going to do it. And even if I know I'm not going to do it, I will still push and do towards doing that. But in the meantime, I don't want to upload garbage content to my channel that people won't want to watch. You know what I mean? And I know I'm not the best at these games. Like, I see a lot of these guys, they're really good at these games, but they, like, they just don't put a lot of effort towards their videos. And I want to be the exact opposite. As you guys can see, I'm not dominating the lobby right now. This guy with fat Jesus is, like, is obviously dominating the lobby. Now, when I say guys, I don't mean, like, people are doing the SBRC, because I see a lot of good potential in those guys. I'm just talking about people in general. And I get asked for shoutouts like a lot, and I know I'm not a big channel, and I know that these guys are smaller than me, but this is my theory with giving people shoutouts. And number one, do not ask for a shoutout. Don't go around saying, hey, give me a shoutout, why? Just cause. Like, that just sounds so stupid, and like, I'm not like, gonna give someone a shoutout for doing absolute jack shit just asking me. And now my theory stays true to myself. Like, for example, I was about, I would say I was about three, like, subscribers away from 100, and I was just telling Taco about it, and he was nice enough to give me a shout-out. I didn't ask him, I didn't ask for anything from him, like, just nothing. I just said, uh, hey, I was 300, I'm three subs away from 100, and he's like, oh, really? And he gives, just gives me a shout-out, I didn't even ask him. So, like, he's so kind, just thank you so much, man. I don't go to guys that have bigger channels than me and say, hey, can I have a shout-out? That, that just sounds so stupid. But I will give somebody a shout out if they truly deserve it. And one of those examples is, like, you don't have to post daily like I do. Like, posting daily takes a lot of work and time, and some people might not have that time, and I like to put that effort towards it. But if you guys post daily and they're good quality content, like, that'd be sick, and I probably would give you a shout out for that matter if I think you deserve it. But you don't need to post daily. I would say a good upload amount of time if you want to be a content creator is three to four times a week. Or maybe even like upload two videos per day on weekends on like Saturdays and Sundays. That would totally blow up your channel. So guys, just take my word for it and do not ask for shout out. Even though it might help your channel, it's kind of a it's kind of a scummy move. Just let people give you shout out. Now I'm not a very experienced YouTuber. I've been only doing this for about ten months and on this channel for about six months. So I don't really have a lot of experience with YouTube, but. I do know a lot about YouTube, like I've been watching it for more than, I don't even know how many years, like it's been so long since I've been watching YouTube. I've seen channels fail, I've seen channels grow. 
and they always tell why and how that happened. For example, I've been watching SS Sniper Wolf since the first thing with Grill going. Now, a lot of you guys probably know who SS Sniper Wolf is, and I started watching her since she's at 50k. And for you, you know, the Grill Gun Gamer situation is long past. That was like two or three years ago. It is just gone. It's, it's YouTube history, but I just want to bring it up. So. A while back, this girl named Girl Gone Gamer, I would say she was one of the biggest girl gamers like out there on YouTube. And then, I don't even know the true story, but I think SS Sniper Wolf asked her to 1v1 for like a YouTube video. And keep in mind, Girl Gone Gamer had like 10 times the subs as SS Sniper Wolf. And this is when I started watching SS Sniper Wolf at this time. So that, and then all of a sudden, SS Sniper Wolf kind of got a little fishy and like, I guess Girl Gone Gamer's story wasn't adding up. And then SS Sniper Wolf exposed her of just um, faking gameplays, which is absolutely crazy. Do not fake gameplays. Like, that is just so stupid. Girl Gone Gamer was obviously pretending it's, like a person she wasn't, so that is just terrible. She was lying to her 500k fan. And now SS Sniper Wolf is over 1 mil. SS Sniper Wolf is by far probably one of my favorite YouTubers. Keep in mind, one of my favorite YouTubers. So guys, just take my word for it, I've been in this YouTube community for a while, so like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.